For my market research presentation, I researched on desserts. My company is a dessert truck that will be serving shaved ice with customizable options of toppings, syrup, and ice cream. Food trucks are all the craze right now, but the only few dessert trucks out there have been primarily cupcakes. This shaved ice dessert is very similar to the frozen yogurt concept. First, you choose your size, small, medium, or large. Then you cup, your cup will be filled with an amount of finely shaved ice. Next, you can choose a type of ice cream, vanilla, chocolate, coffee, mint, coconut, strawberry, mango, etc. And then up to three toppings of either fruit or candy. Then we will top it with the syrup of your liking. Since this is a dessert that's very popular in Asia, we usually top it with condensed milk. But of course, there will be a variety of syrups for you to choose from. The price range of this dessert, starting from a size small, is $3.50 and up. I conducted a survey of 10 questions to friends, family, and coworkers on Facebook and through email, ranging from the ages of 18 through 60, males and females. 40 people participated in the survey. The survey showed that majority were females who ate dessert only once a week. Favorite dessert was almost tied up between ice cream and cake and pastries. Majority ate dessert during the nighttime, and the weather, if it was cold, showed that it did not affect if they ate dessert or not. Almost all participants preferred custom and selection. Surprisingly, most did not think about calorie intake when they ate dessert, and a healthier dessert did not affect the amount they would eat. I asked, what do you eat when you're happy, and what do you eat when you're sad? Majority showed that they ate dessert when they were either happy or sad. I used Yelp.com as my secondary research. I searched for dessert trucks and came back with some interesting findings. Most people thought that any dessert over $3 from a truck was overpriced, as trucks should be cheaper, plus it was for such a small product. Good variety and selection was definitely a key success factor as proven in my survey as well. I didn't see many reviews with any kinds of health conscious involved. The big difference between Yelp and my survey was that most reviewers craved it on a hot summer night, whereas my survey showed that weather was not a huge factor. Majority would be interested in the dessert truck as they like the whole food truck concept. The market would be towards females between the ages of 18 through 35 that enjoy desserts like ice cream and cake, enjoy variety and selection, and having dessert after dinner time. They would pay up to $4 to try it and would enjoy it in any season and any day of the week. Many like the idea that it is different. The idea of being unique and something that's not easy to get makes them want to try it. People believe that it has potential, as many food trucks right now have an Asian-inspired concept.